Hi, in this problem, we see that we have to find the uh, roots of the given quadratic equation and suppose they are alpha and beta and then we have to find the ratio of lambda, right? So first we have to calculate the alpha beta. Let's go ahead and do uh, that equation. So here we'll see that let alpha and beta be roots of this given quadratic equation. So therefore, what is alpha plus beta? The sum of the roots. So sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a. So therefore, it will be minus of m into m minus 4. That's obviously b in this case. In the If I compare with a x squared plus b x plus c equal to 0. And here it is 3 m squared. That is definitely m uh, a. So that gives you actually minus m minus 4 divided by 3 m. So that's actually my sum of the roots. Now let's consider the product of the roots. The product of the root definitely alpha beta and that's equal to C by A again. So therefore it is 2 by 3 M square. Sorry, 2 by 3 M square. Yes, correct. So we calculate that. And also in this particular problem, they given lambda is equal to alpha divided by beta, right? Now let's calculate what is lambda plus 1 by lambda for this case. So lambda plus 1 by lambda is equal to alpha divided by beta plus beta divided by alpha. That's imply that it's equal to alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha beta. So that's done. Now, we need to calculate what is alpha square plus beta square and we need to calculate what is alpha beta. Now, what is alpha square plus beta square? Uh, we can easily calculate that, right? But we don't consider in that sense, right? So, we consider it that this ratio that lambda plus 1 by lambda, we consider it as forcefully as 1 because that is a given condition. So, therefore, we say that lambda plus 1 by lambda is equal to 1 imply that uh, alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha beta. That imply that alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta is equal to alpha and beta. That's imply that alpha plus beta whole square is equal to 3 times of alpha beta. So now we rewrite it in the case of sum of the roots and product of the roots, right? Alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So we can easily substitute it back, right? So let's substitute it. So therefore, it's implied that m minus 4 whole square divided by 9 m square is equal to uh, 6 divided by 3 m square. That implies that definitely m minus 4 whole square is equal to 18. So that's it. So we able to calculate the relation. So now we have to find the value of m, right? So take that special value. So m minus 4 whole square is equal to 18. 18 can be written as 9 into 2. So therefore 3 root 2 whole square. So therefore we can say m minus 4 is definitely equal to plus or minus 3 root 2. And that's why my case m is equal to 4 plus or minus 3 root 2. So that's the value of m. So if m is equal to 4 plus 3 root 2 minus 3 root 2, our job is done. So here based on the option, only one option is given here. So that's why for this particular problem, option C is the correct answer. Very straightforward problem and I think you can do similar kind of problem again by following this. So just have a look in the proper solution. Thank you.